Right, the um, cleaning of the mill, this, this little mill or any mill, or lathe, whichever, it's always a bit of a hassle because you you get all these um, swarf, you know, down in your table and everywhere else. If you blow up the air compressor, it goes all over the workshop, and you've got to clean the entire workshop. You use a brush, it sort of flicks it out everywhere, and it doesn't get everything out of all the corners and so forth. So I figure a magnet is the... Uh, probably the thing to use but um, then you've got to get all your swarf off the magnet so I'm going to make myself one of those magnet inside a PVC tube so that you can just pull the magnet out and all the uh, material falls off the end of it into the bin that's the theory so um, stay tuned okay I've uh, just found myself a bit of conduit that I had kicking around at the back and I found this neodymium magnet that's in a brass housing but um, I know that this was a, an N42 magnet like the strength of it um, yeah damn strong hard to get off the bench sometimes so I've got to machine the outside of this down get rid of that hex pattern there's a couple of grub screws there I can get rid of it should slide up and down inside this um, conduit quite easily yeah, it's got a thread in the end. It's, it's actually full of wasps at the moment. They clay packed wasp nest in there. I'll blow that out. See what size that thread is. Uh, and then I'll have a put, a put a bar on the end of it so I can slide it to the end, slide it up, and I'll put a shield on it so as it goes up past the shield, the um, swarf can't travel up any further, and then it will fall off in the bin. That's the plan. Anyway, let's measure this. I th As you see, there's a bite to it. Um, no particular size, I just think maybe half a metre, 500 mil, see what happens. And then uh, we can always shorten it if we have to. But I think that'll be about right. Cap, which is out of. Uh, uh, like a J box type thing doesn't quite fit so I'm just going to put this in a lathe and just take a smidgen off out in the inside there just so uh, I can glue that cap in the end it should work right It's perfect. There's a couple of bits there. I might just follow those off on that cap. They'll glue in there just nice there, I think. Okay. That's good enough, there's not much. Slides easy. Beautiful, that's all we need. That's the end of the lathe job. Point five and a half plus two is there. Okay, that should be pretty close to. 
this. Hold on. Yes. That's nice. Alright. like it. Alright, that thread came out alright. Oh, camera's camera to focus on it. So I'm just going to put a drip of uh, Loctite on it. Like um, so. Oh, there's more than a drip. There he is. Gonna be carried away there. So it won't come off. And and just put a run a drip round in here. Not much. Stop the magnet coming out. Oh, crikey, I can't get the damn thing off the bench. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that shouldn't come off, I shouldn't think. I've just found this 90mm <clears throat> PVC cap. Drill a hole in it to match that. Slide along up to about here somewhere. And that'll stop all the shavings going up there. Just okay, just like that. I haven't glued it on yet. I just need to so that it might be better off down the bottom there. So when I pull the magnet past it, it all drops off. Not sure, I'll just have a little bit of a play on the, uh, the old mill over here. I'll just... Okay, we're just over at the old little mill. Oh, careful, handle is really hot still. <laughs> it comes with one hot handle. Isn't it funny that? Oh wow, look at that, that just picks that up really, really good. Yeah. That's Spot on, isn't it? Oh, I like that. That's that's really good. That let's go over the bin over here. Look at that it becomes it comes back clean as a whistle. I think it's about the right spot. So uh, I'll glue that on right there. Okay, finished products. Um, handle looks okay. I mean, it's, it works okay. It's full of handle, but. Uh, that glue is still drying a bit, but um, oh, you got all the shit in there. Okay, just another little test for this. I've uh, cleaned out the uh, lathe, and I've ended up with a whole of brass and steel shavings, swarf mixed together. I'm thinking I might keep the brass, so that maybe I can use it one day to smelt, smelt down and pour it. I don't know what for yet, but. I do have ideas. Anyway, um, let's just see if this uh, magnet's any good for uh, separa separating these out. I figure, just put it in there and move it around. Hang it on the side to make any bits of brass fall off. Alright, just dump that in the bin. Now again. That's working pretty well. They're saying a very, very, very small amount, small amount of brass being caught in that. Even just doing that, you can see the brass falling out. But the uh, great best to put a pair of gloves on. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, just doing that, you can see the brass falling out of it. 
Like I said, put a pair of gloves on, but probably should put a pair of gloves on without holes in them. There's a little bit of brass in there, it's got caught in that, but not much. Not much. Getting less and less, there's no oil brass in there now. Not much left in there now. Not much at all. Right, this is the last go, I think. Well, I think that must be pure brass because. Same pick up the tiny fragments of steel in there. That's it. Well, I think that was very successful. Clean that brass shavings down just to brass. Yeah, I don't know quite what I'll cast yet, but I, I do have a couple of ideas and then um, maybe a future video. If you'd like to see practical solutions for uh, everyday problems, stay tuned to my channel. You know the drill, like and subscribe, share it with your friends or anyone who you think might be interested in this sort of content and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for coming.